I was a TV director who kind of, kind of done everything from morning breakfast shows, quiz shows, kids shows, and basically my speciality was doing multi-camera events. So I'm the guy who stands in the truck and goes, camera one, camera three, take five, all that kind of nonsense. Myself, Dan and Dustin, we specialise in creating and filming, or just filming, very large or sometimes smaller events. In fact, in Europe, we've become the, the largest producer of event-based TV programmes. I think I've got the second best job in the world. First best job in the world is being, you know, on the stage, but I tried playing an instrument when I was like 17 and I was crap. I used to play the bass, but I thought it was easier to play and it, it isn't. Second best job in the world is actually filming people on stage. And, uh, I, you know, I absolutely love it. You know, I step into a truck, someone gets on stage, strikes the opening chord or presses the synth bar, whatever, and that's when I kick off. And, you know, literally for the next hour and a half, I am totally on a bab. I don't sit down and go one, two, three is nice, steady three, and three. That's, no, 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 no. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, come on, you know. Fucking love my job. Come on, this is what we got at. Most recent example of an event that we've changed from being a passive to a kind of a more energizing uh, experience was the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. Okay, lots of beautiful women wearing lingerie. On the surface, you might think, <laughs> that's never a passive experience. But actually, do you know what? Once you've seen 12 supermodels come out in lingerie, it's, you know, it's like, oh, you know, I've seen it all, basically. You know? The backstage of this event is probably as interesting as what's going on on the actual catwalk. So we created a multi-layered program. Yes, you've got really beautiful women wearing great lingerie on a catwalk, but then we use a lot of techniques backstage, the, the language, the, the hair, the makeup. Mike talked about going, come on, okay, stand by and go, go, go. You've got to innovate, change, and keep ahead of the pack, and keep your stuff dynamic and fresh. And regularly take a kind of a look at what you do and say, do you know what, you're starting to look a bit stale. Go and get some, you know, go and get something else. The American TV special, I think, over a number of years, especially in the States, has become a really passive experience. And actually, I don't think they necessarily do the artist, management, record company or network any good at all. They kind of just drift by. And I think what I really, really feel passionately is that you know they shouldn't be they should make you feel as if you're in the audience in the middle of the in the middle of the pit if it's appropriate and just you know what i mean they should be energizing programs they should move you either to get you on your feet or to cry or to laugh you know it should it should involve you as a viewer and it's not difficult to do and it's something that we you know we feel very strongly and very passionately that we can do and that we've demonstrated that we can do it over a number of years